Hello everybody, it's Ellie Diecast, and we're back to take a look at another one of the customs that I have made. Uh, this particular one is a gasser, and wheels roll really well on this one. Very happy with this one. It's got kind of a funny story, and I'll kind of move it around as we talk here so you can see each, each side. But uh, this particular one was one of the Christmas cars. So some of the YouTube channelers out there I sent Christmas cars to. And we, we've done that the last two years where we basically just take some castings and we spray paint them gold with like a gold flake. And then we, we really polish them up and try and make them look neat. And then we send them out to people as kind of an appreciation for the work they've put into their channels over the last year. And this one was left over. Had a few of them. I always, I always do more than I need just because... If something gets scratched or something, then we always have more. This one was left over and was just going to get thrown into the bin for next year to, to get uh, repainted. But uh, I thought I would try to maybe get some gold flames on it. And I used the mask that I make. Uh, I cut those masks out with my plotter, so I've designed that, that flame mask. And in this particular case, I designed that flame mask especially for this casting. So I wanted it to kind of go up and over that back wheel. And it looks similar to some other flames I have, but that's actually a new flame mask. Um, and then put some flames on the top as well. And spray painted it kind of a metal flake blue. And uh, you guys that do a lot of painting kind of know how that works. But the gold is what you're seeing in the metal flake through the blue, and then the blue is kind of a translucent blue, so layering. <laughs> the inside was just painted black, nothing special, and then I did a little bit of detailing on the engine and painted the pipes a uh, different color. License plate on the back, Hot Wheel logos there. We can zoom in a little bit more here so you can see it. And uh, there's your Hot Wheels logo, there's your plate, decals. Really pretty sparse on the decals compared to what I usually do. And this one is one of the more calmer customs I've done lately, <laughs> believe it or not. I usually tend to overdo it a little bit. So I uh, really like the tires on this, and that's what I wanted to show you. And these tires took a lot of work. They did not fit into the casting uh, naturally. And I haven't um, painted over that gray yet because I wanted to show you how much had to be filed apart, had to be filed off. Um, that's pretty common. I'll show you a, a normal one. Here's a, a normal gasser. And see those, I don't know what they're supposed to be, but brake pads or suspension pieces right there. Those are all gone here. I uh, had to make a lot of room. Plus, I wanted the wheels sticking out a little bit on the side or flush with the side where they were kind of, they weren't going to do that unless I forced the issue. So they're sitting in an axle housing that is a um, uh, tubing, metal tubing. You, know, kind of, you can barely see it in there, but there's metal tubing in there. We'll uh, touch up the bottom before we get to the shows, <laughs> make it look a little neater, but easier for you to see. Um, with that all in mind, here is a, we'll drive him off for a second. Here is another one that I am working on. Now this one is not painted. And, um, it, you know, if you've been watching the show, you know I love this casting. I have quite a few customs of this one. It's, it's an easy casting to work with. And it gives me a lot of kind of footprint in the area that I like to work on, the sides and especially the top. Uh, but it also just has a lot of negative space in it, like seeing through the other end that I really like. It's not a solid car like a lot of them are. But uh, this guy's going to get painted. And I think what we're going to do with this is try to get more of kind of a Spectra uh, flame type paint job to it. So that I think we're just going to paint over the raw metal with translucent paint. I haven't done that in about a year. And it sounded like something I wanted to do. So he is all polished up. He's a little grimier than normal because I've been handling it. But he's been polished. 
and I'm handling it carefully because it's not it's not screwed together. But see those back tires there, those are Jada tires and they do turn. And it's not screwed together, so it's a little loose. I don't, I don't really want to squish it together yet, but um, those are Jada rims, which are very cool rims, that deep dish, deep rim kind of chrome look I really like, BF Goodrich tires. But look how much I had to take off of that back. There's the original casting, and that's all that's left. Same with the front. See those? There you go. You can take a look. The front, and here's the front. I've had to file the front down a little bit to get those to fit in. The front wheels are, um, good question. What are the front wheels? Front wheels are uh, Hot Wheels, real riders. The back wheels are Jada. And it will roll when I'm done. Now, if you're wondering how those Jada wheels are set in there, if you're used to Jada wheels, and we'll take a look at those in a future video, but the Jada wheels have a, a fixed axle on them. In other words, the axle is kind of welded to the wheel. So when one wheel turns, the other wheel turns. Doesn't sound like a big deal, but when you're doing customs, you can't just glue the axle in because the wheels don't freely roll along a fixed axle. The axle itself has to turn. And just so we can, in case I, what happens is I'll forget to show you when I'm done and I'll seal it all up. That metal plate is holding that axle in place. So see that hole, when, when one wheel turns, the other one turns like that. So. That metal plate's holding everything in place. And they're intentionally kind of loose so that when I place everything together, I can kind of position these guys in place. And the casting, for the most part, will hold them in place. These front wheels, the, um, the axle's actually just glued in. And they still, they still roll. So. Uh, also, a lot of work there on that back piece. I don't have another one to show you, but... There used to be a huge piece sticking down here to, to press against the axle. So just kind of some little insights into how I work. I, I, um, I got a, two emails over the last month with people asking if I could not screw the cars together and then take them apart so they could see what I did on the inside, which quite honestly from from my standpoint, it's probably sometimes more impressive than the outside because I have to do a lot more on the inside plastic pieces to get them all to fit together. And it's true, I tend to uh, seal them all up when I show you guys because I like them to look nice. <laughs> but I think what I'll do in future videos is I'll show you some that I'm working on along the way. So, um, yeah, just some insights. You guys all do it differently. You can share how you do it if you do it differently or if you know an easier way, let me know. That's how we learn. So, very happy with this one though. That one's going in my personal collection. Thanks for watching everybody. See you in the next one. Bye.